So Minecraft has added yet again a wonderful new command. I am talking about the camera command this time in Bedrock Edition. As you can see guys, I am able to walk around in my world with the camera fixed on the wall. And that's not all because look at what happens when I will exit this door. The camera angle will change depending on my position in the world. I can already see the endless possibilities in map making and how you can use this command to create wonderful effects. And today guys, I'm going to show you how to master this command and become a pro in using the camera command in Minecraft. Before starting the tutorial, I want to show you some of the camera presets that I created so you get an idea of what you can do using this command. Right guys, I'm gonna give myself a tag which will change my camera perspective. In this case, we have a top-down view just like this. You can see that it is very nice. Then we have this other very cool camera angle which is uh, isometric if I'm not wrong. The next camera angle preset that I created is this one which is similar to a lot of the popular platformers such as Super Mario Bros. This one is another very cool camera angle because it allows me to showcase these tall buildings that I've built. This is actually my survival world that I played with some friends on a realm. Then we have this one which makes a very cool effect when going between these two buildings. Okay, this one is very cool because I can create a very nice cutscene while I walk on top of this bridge. And man, look at this. This is some amazing stuff that you can do in Minecraft in 2023. This one is also very very cool because I can actually flex the stuff that I've done in survival mode. All of the gold that I had to farm. Look at this. <laughs> okay guys, so I just got Dinner Bones view in Minecraft. <laughs> this is amazing. Alright guys, so the command is slash camera, you type it in, in chat just like this and then we have a set of sub options but don't be intimidated by the number of them because they are actually very simple to use. Now let's select the target and in this case let's say that we want to change the camera angle for us, we type at p and then set and then we have the first batch of sub options which are first person, free, third person and then third person front. I already typed in this command block the camera command that set my camera to first person and look at what happens when I jump on the pressure plate. Well, apparently nothing. Let me remove the effect and let me show you guys what happens when I jump on that pressure plate while I'm on third person. I jump on it and voila, this time the command was applied to myself and my camera was changed to first person. Now actually I'm not able to change my camera view by pressing F5 because I am forced to use the first person. We have the third person and third person front which are self-explanatory so when I jump on this pressure plate my camera is set to third person and if I jump here it is set to third person front. Now how do we clear the camera effect that is applied to ourselves it is pretty simple we type in chat slash camera then the target which is us at p and then just clear just like this we went back to the camera view which we previously had which was third person now if i start doing it in first person and then i use the third person one and then i type clear it will bring me back to first person right so it will remember the last camera view which you had before the camera command was applied to yourself now let's explore the fourth sub option parameter which is the minecraft colon free because this one is the coolest one minecraft actually gave us the option to 100 percent customize the camera angle as you saw in the beginning of this video we do it by typing this time set minecraft colon free now this sub options has two parameters which are pose and rot which stand for position and rotation let's start with position we type pose and let's say that we want to place the camera five blocks above the player now when i say above it will take in consideration the feet of the player if i set it to two in this case the camera will be set exactly on top of my head just like this so let's say that we want to place it 10 blocks above the player's feet voila it places the camera 10 blocks above. If I do a very big number like 100, you can see that I'm 100 blocks over and I actually went through the roof of the house. How cool is that? Now let's clear the effect and let's say that we want to place the camera, for example, in this corner of the room. It is very simple. We just have to copy the coordinates which are shown on the upper left side of the screen. We can type them in chat, like for example, like this. Then I can copy them and paste them in the command block. In this case, look at what happens when I jump on the pressure plate. The camera was positioned 
exactly where I wanted it to be. Now, from what you can see, uh, it is not very well positioned because when I jump down, you can see that I cannot see myself. So let's clear the camera effect and let's explore the last parameter of this sub option, which is the rot parameter. In this case, we can change the rotation of the camera and we can of course combine it with the position. So we can give the camera a position and then we can give it a rotation. Let's say that we want to rotate it 40 degrees looking downwards and then let's set this to zero degrees. I'm going to talk about this number here in just a moment. So if I jump here, you can see that the camera is angled perfectly so I can actually see myself. Let me clear the effect and let me show you guys what the last number does. It actually allows you to change the angle of the camera on the left or on the right. So let's say that we want to place it 20 degrees towards the left. In this case, when I press on this pressure plate, you can see that the camera is facing slightly towards the left. One thing that you guys have to understand about this camera command is that the player is not up here. I am still down there and from what you can see guys I am able to interact with the world just like normal. Basically I am not up here, I am just down there, just the camera angle is up here. And as you can see I am still able to interact with the command. Now let's set this number to plus 20 which changes the camera angle 20 degrees towards the right just like this all right guys so one thing that you most probably didn't notice is that when i jump on the pressure plate the camera changes angles instantly right so you see that i clear the effect when i jump on here the camera is instantly placed on top of the wall there is a third sub option which is called ease and you have to write it before the position and the rotation sub options in this case we write ease then we write how many seconds we want the animation to last in this case let's say three seconds and then let's set the easing method that we want to have let's set it to linear just for this demonstration and as you can see the camera will go 10 blocks above myself in a very cool animated way if you want to make the animation be quicker just change the number in this case let's set it to one second and as you can see now the animation was quicker there is a total of 32 easing methods there's linear spring and then other 30 methods which you can see here you will see how the animation will interpolate and let me show you guys how you write them in minecraft for example let's use is in out circ which is one of my favorite ones Let's go back on the command that we previously used. Instead of linear for the easing method, we don't write it like this, but like this, in, out, circ. Okay, so in, out, circ, see how it's written here, becomes in, out, circ, just like as it is written in here. And look at what happens when I use this easing method. Voila, I really love how it is animated, it's not linear, but actually it follows this animation here. Now you guys can play around with all of these easing methods, but not only, because you can combine these three sub-options, which is position, rotation and easing, to create very, very, very cool effects. Very quickly, I will show you a camera preset that I made, which is this one. When I press the pressure plate, voila, look at how nice the camera effect was. All of the camera presets that I showed you basically place the camera in a fixed position. Now, the coolest thing is that we can actually place the camera relative to the player. So every time that a player moves, we can make the camera follow the player. And this is where we can create the coolest stuff ever and the stuff that you've seen at the beginning of this video. And let me show you guys how you do it. We can tie the camera command to a, an execute command, which executes the position of the player and then runs the camera command relative to that player. But let's start from the beginning. First of all, we want to execute a command relative to myself. And I do it by typing a slash execute and then as myself, which is the closest player in this case at P, I'm not writing at S because uh, I'll show it to you guys very quickly. So I'll use execute as at P and then at, at P. So I want to execute the command relative to myself and then run camera at s set minecraft colon free position let's place the camera six blocks above my feet and with a rotation let's make it uh, face down 90 and then zero just like this so you can see that the camera still it was placed on a set position you can see that the camera doesn't move but look at what happens if i type this command again when i move 
So every time that I type this command here, the camera is set above my head, right? The cool thing is that I can copy this command here, paste it inside a repeating command block just like this, and when I activate it, look at what happens. You can see that the camera is set relative to my position. Now, you can see that we don't really like the effect because, well, it's very jittery. It looks like I'm lagging, but we can fix it uh, very quickly by adding an easing sub option. You can see that I didn't write ease. Let's make it 0.2 and then let's use my favorite one, which is in out circ and then just like this. And in this case, look at how nice the camera effect is. Now, if you change the easing sub option time, this time let's set it to one, for example. And in this case, the camera will follow the player with a bit of lag, which is intended, it's not actual lag, right? So basically the player moves and then the camera will keep up with the player position in a slow manner. So sometimes we want to have this effect and of course you can change how quick the camera follows the player or actually how slow. So in this case you can see that we have a very small camera follow delay. Sometimes you want to pay really big attention how you use this command. Because in this case the camera was positioned 6 blocks above my feet. But let's say that I placed it 100 blocks above. I wouldn't be able to see myself and the repeating command block would still be active and place the camera 100 blocks above my head. You don't want to do it because otherwise the camera will be 100 blocks above your head. So in this case I will be inside the house and I, I wouldn't be able to see where the command block is so I can deactivate it. Don't do that. In this case I'll show you guys how you can use this command here together with tags. So you can actually deactivate the camera effect very quickly even if you are out of the camera visual. Right, so in this case I executed the command relative to the closest player. Now let's change it to all the players, so at A, that have a tag which is named, I don't know, camera test1, right? So in this case if I type tag at P add camera, camera test1 Voila, you can see that the camera is following me. In this case, I can actually change this number to even 100. Let's do it. And this is what I was telling you guys. The camera would be 100 blocks above myself and I wouldn't be able to see where the command block was. And if we used, for example, slash camera, camera at P clear, the command would have given us the camera effect again. So we would be stuck with this effect. Now it is very simple, we using tags because we can remove the tag first. So tag at p remove camera test one and then we can use clear. So voila, we are able to be back again. Hey guys, and look at this effect. This one, instead of using relative positions, right? Instead of using this in the pose, I use the caret symbol. This one, which actually ties the camera now to the direction that the player is looking at. So in this case, it's not tied to the feet of the player, but to the player's head rotation. And if I rotate my head, whoa, look at this effect here. Look at how nice it is. If I look up, the camera goes up. If I look down, the camera goes down. And if I look in front and then look around, look at how quickly I am able to move around the world. I can already see the usage of this effect for, I don't know, some cutscenes, even for videos. Like, wait, if you manipulate the, the numbers, let's do 500. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's do... Oh my, wow! <laughs> what even is this? I think that 500 is too big. Okay, let's do 300. Maybe this is more reasonable. Okay, okay, the chunks are loading. Look at that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Look at how quickly I can move around the world using this command. If you guys want to know how to set up one of these really nice camera angles that change dynamically depending on where you are, I made another video which is exclusively available on, on my website and I leave the link of that video in the description of this one. Alright guys, so that was everything you had to know about the camera command. I really hope that you liked the video. If this tutorial was useful for you, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe and also watch my video where I created hot air balloons with only one command.